Okay, we're going to go ahead and start off with the syncopation first for the verse. And uh, rather than learn the verse and then try to syncopate it, let's get a little bit of an idea of how to syncopate that in our mind. So when I'm talking about syncopation, I'm, I'm talking about the difference between playing a straight beat and playing something that's a little jazzier and bouncier. So what we're going to do to bounce this up is we're going to play a forward roll with our thumb plucking the third string, middle finger plucking the first, and thumb plucking the fifth. And then after that, we'll use our first middle thumb. And we're going to do that. We're going to start off with the, with the first time with a thumb, then with the first finger. First finger again, first finger again, first finger again. That's five forward rolls. Only the first started off with a thumb. So, And what that gives us is 15 notes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And those triplets are going to put us into a waltz time or a three-quarter time. We don't want that. What we want to do is have straight time, and we're going to add another note to make it 16 instead of 15. So we'll get even by adding our middle finger at the first string at the end. So it'll be... the syncopation comes in is the accentuation of the notes that I'm going to use. I'm going to accentuate the notes of a backwards roll at half that time. So I'm playing three, five, one, and I'm going to, I'm going to accentuate those notes superimposed over my forward roll at twice the speed. So what I'm going to have is, that's like going, Speed it up. You get the idea. So that gives me a little bit more of a, uh, a syncopated bouncy sound, which I'll need for this. And so instead of playing, I've got. a little bit snappier sound so let's practice that little um, forward roll it's elongated and we're going to add that 16th note to it but then i'm going to also have the syncopation of the backward roll and instead of trying to say accentuate don't accentuate don't accentuate don't accentuate, that's gonna be too crazy so what i'm going to do is going to i'm just going to play it really slowly and you can hear when to accentuate and kind of play along and you'll get the feeling and i'll do a little bit faster as we go along so can't do a forward roll that speed you shouldn't be playing this song yet you should go back to cripple creek so if i don't want to get all these letters saying oh you're going too fast because this isn't a beginner song so so uh, forgive me for being so blunt but i get hundreds of emails all the time about that kind of stuff and this is really uh, not a beginner song so don't try it go back to cripple creek and then learn some other uh, patterns first before you try syncopating at a higher speed this isn't that high but of course, it is uh, tough. And for you who are pivotal, just push yourself. You'll do fine. So uh, just keep, don't get frustrated if it doesn't sound right. Just keep practicing along with us. Let's try this again. 